In this video, I'm going to look at how you can shape the arrowhead of a line drawn on a canvas in TK Inter. Let's consider this computer program. And if we look to the first four lines, well, I've covered those in the previous videos in this playlist. They are responsible for allowing us to use TK Inter. It creates a window and places a canvas onto that window. If we look at these lines, they are responsible for drawing four lines on the canvas. Let's have a look at this one here. And we can see we're sending a message to this instance of the canvas that invokes this method and these are the parameters we're sending and if we look here that's one end of the line coordinate position this is the other end of the lines coordinate position the line is blue and the arrowhead is in the last position and the width of the line is four and this line will simply draw a straight line between the coordinate positions shown and it'll give us a default arrowhead. If we go on to this line, what we've done here, we've changed these coordinate positions so the line will be drawn further down the y-axis and we can see that it's going to be blue, it's going to have the arrowhead in the last position and it's going to have a width of 4. But look here, we've introduced another named argument and this named argument is arrow shape and you can see it's been assigned this now this is an example of a tuple in Python now a tuple is effectively a list or you can think of it as being an array in another language the difference is between a tuple and a list is a tuple is fixed once created it cannot be changed but we know it's a tuple because of the brackets that we can see surrounding the three numbers now these numbers within the tuple are assigned to the arrow shape named argument and these numbers are responsible for setting the shape of the arrow and if you look at the next two program statements what you can see if we look to this one first we've got the arrow shape being assigned these numbers and here you can see the arrow shape is being assigned these numbers and in both cases the numbers are placed inside a tuple now what will happen is these numbers we're looking at here that are assigned to the arrow shape they will produce lines that have an arrow which we know will be placed in the last position and the arrow heads will all have a different look a different style a different shape so let's go ahead now and look at the computer program runtime for this program here and what we see is this now this line was responsible for producing this and if you look to the arrowhead it's in its default state if you look to this line which is taken in this tuple to the arrow shape we get this shape of the arrowhead if you look here on this line we can see that this named argument has been assigned these numbers and it gives us this shape for the arrowhead and this line well if we look here we can see the numbers are 100 120 within the brackets within the tuple and that gives us this shape here so we can see by assigning numbers to this named argument where these are examples of the numbers we get different shapes as you can see here this represents a line with an arrowhead that has a shape as you can see now when we're creating a line we use the create underscore line method that's what we invoke and we pass arguments to it now we've been looking at what those arguments are in this and the previous videos now one of the arguments we're interested in is the width argument the width named argument and i'm going to say we're going to assign that four now if we look at the diagram where that four comes in what that sets is this here. It sets the width, as you can see. We will now look to the arrow shape named argument, where we assign to it a tuple. And I'm going to show that here, where you can see the arrow shape is assigned this tuple. Now, I've put A, B, C in there. Now, they represent integers. A, B, and C are going to be the integers that make up the numbers within the tuple that set the arrow shape. Now let's consider the first element in the tuple, A. Now that is going to define one of the distances that appears in the arrowhead. And the distance it's going to represent is shown here. 
it goes from the tip to that position where the dotted lines are. And whatever the number is that is represented here by A will be the distance from the tip of the arrowhead to where the dotted lines are shown. If we now consider the second element of the tuple as represented here by the letter B, then the distance it is going to represent in the arrowhead is shown here. It goes from the tip to where the dotted lines are shown on the diagram. Now the third element in the tuple represented here by the letter C, well that's responsible for the distance shown in the diagram as you can see. Now the numbers that appear in this tuple that are assigned to this named argument are responsible for the shape of the arrowhead. So changing the numbers that appear within the tuple will give you arrowheads of different sizes and different shapes. Let's now consider this arrowhead and we can clearly see its shape and we know that this here will be 4 assigned to this named argument and that's responsible for setting the width of the line here and this is going to be a tuple where A, B and C in the program will actually be numbers and that's assigned to this here which is the arrow shape named argument. Now if we look at the first element in the tuple A, that's responsible for that distance there. If we go on to the B, that's responsible for that distance there. And if we consider C, it's responsible for that distance there. Now, if you think about what you've just seen, A, well, that's bigger than B. Let's just go back and have a look at B again. There's B, and consider that distance and compare that distance to the distance for A. We can see that A is bigger than B. Now, when A is bigger than B, you get this kind of shape, as you can see here. Let's now consider this shape for the arrowhead and have a think about what the value of A and B must be here. Well, we can say that the value of A and B are the same, they have the same value. So we get this shape when A and B have the same value. So let's go through it again. We know if we have the width, in this case being assigned 4, that represents that thickness of the line there, that width of the line. If we go on to the arrow shape named argument we assign this to it and we're saying well let's have the value of a and b being the same so if we look to the distance for a we know it's this now because b has the same value of a it'll be that distance exactly the same distance consequently you get the shape of the head as you can see now c obviously that is that distance there now this shape of arrowhead is the same shape as you get for the default in other words when you do not have the arrow shape specified in the create underscore line method however what these numbers allow you to do is to make a bigger arrowhead than the one you get when you have the default value so you can make the size of it much bigger this is an example of a shape of an arrowhead this is another example and finally we have this example here when you look to this one and you consider the tuple and in particular consider the positions of a and b in the first and second element of the tuple which one of them is the bigger i'll let you answer that question yourself if we look at this one then again we have a tuple setting the shape but for this one which is the bigger value the first or the second element the a or the b and for this one here consider its shape and what we've got here is well i'll give you the answer to this one it's when a and b are the same Let's consider this computer program again and its runtime. If we look at this program statement, it's responsible for this. And if you refer to the arguments here, you can see there is no arrow shape. Consequently, we get the default arrow head here. If we go on to this line and have a look at the arrow shape that's been set and look here at the value of position A, the first element, and the second element position, you can see that this is smaller than this. Consequently, we get this shape as already discussed in this video. If we go on to this line and look at this here, on this occasion, we can see that this position, the first element position, which was represented by A when I was describing what was going on, and this position here, which was represented by B, we can see that this is bigger than this consequently we get this shape if we go on to this program statement and have a look here at 
the arrow shape being assigned this tuple, have a look at the position of A and B, i.e. the first and second element in the tuple, you can see they're the same, so you get this shape here. Let's consider this computer program, and it's more or less the same as the one we've been considering, but if you look here with respect to the arrow shape named argument, I've assigned these tuples in each case. And if you look at the first two, you can see that A is less than B in each case. And if you look at them, you can see they're all 6480. Whereas if you come here and look at the position C, as I've been describing it in this video, you can see that they are 12, 24, and 36 respectively. So what we're going to get when we run this program is an arrow head of the same shape, but we're going to have them of different sizes because of these numbers here. Of course, the 64 and the 80 will set the size of the arrow head as well, because if these numbers were bigger, you get a bigger arrow arrowhead but the fact that I've made these the same will give us the same shape and these 12 24 and 36 values will give us different sizes of the arrowhead in terms of its width so let's have a look at the runtime for this computer program and this is what we will see now this line where we set the arrow shape named argument to this value where c was 12 we get this arrowhead and if we look at this one, it was responsible for this, because if we looked here, we set C to 24. And this line was responsible for this arrowhead, because if we look at this tuple here, we can see in this position we made it 36. Consequently, this arrowhead is bigger than this one, and this arrowhead is bigger than this one, because 36 is bigger than 24, and 24 is bigger than 12. Check out the supporting website for these videos. In addition, why not follow me on Twitter as I issue a tweet every time I upload a new video?